Hello, in this Citra Android video, I'm going to show you how to set up your PS4 controller. I'll have a separate video covering the Xbox controller as well, so feel free to check that out. So to do this, you just need a, well, a PS4 controller, and I'll be putting it into wireless mode. Uh, some people have done it in wide mode, where you just plug in the micro USB cable on your PS4 controller, use something like an OTG adapter, and that allows you to plug in a USB into your phone and you can use that way as well. Feel free to check that out. This works on the new and the old PlayStation control for controllers. The new one has the LED through the touch bar. The older one does not, it just has it at the top. So first of all, we gotta sync this up to our system. And to do that, you go to your settings and go to connections. It might be laid out a bit differently depending on what Android de device you have. I have a Samsung Galaxy Fold 3. So if you have a Samsung phone, it's probably going to be very similar. If not, it shouldn't be too far off. Let me know if you have any you know, issues with that. Go to, ooh, that's NFC, go to Bluetooth. And in here, we just need to connect it. First of all, we need to go into pairing mode on our controller. To do that, you press the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time for about three to five seconds. And then the LED will start flashing really fast. So do that. Once it starts flashing, let it go. While wireless controller will appear in your devices. If not, click scan. Available devices, click wireless controller. And once it's connected, the click pair, the light on your controller should go solid and mine has gone blue. And I'm actually, you know, going around using my controller now. So cool. let me go back, for example. Now we can actually launch up Citra. And to map our keys, go to settings, you go to gamepad. And from here, because I've already mapped some of them. Press A, for example, press the key on your controller, so X. If I was to do a different one, like triangle, you could say the 100 now, but I'm just going to go back to X, and you just do that for all the buttons. For the axes, you, you just need to set one axis, and you'll detect up and down, which is pretty nice. So for circle pad, I'll, this that's just the main, you know, sort of analog stick. It's more an analog pad. Just be press up or down, and you'll detect if you're doing what controller it is. Now I've done the left and right. For the C stick, I'll do the right analog stick because some games do require the C stick. For D pad, I'll just do D, D pad. And for the triggers, so I'll do, oh no, those are axes. L, R, Z, I'll do as L2 and R2. That's everything mapped. Click back, back again, launch up our game. And once that has built all the shaders, I'm just going to load the state so I can get directly into the game. 